New brain implants begin the human trials. Neuralink update. The world keeps advancing in technology, and one of the best examples to mention is the Neuralink invented by Elon Musk on August 21st, 2022. Musk has never disappointed us with his inventions, and now he has amazed us with his brain implantation technology. Do you think these brain implants could be better for mankind? In this video, I'll explain everything about brain implants. Elon Musk is finally ready to perform a brain implant on humans after successfully implanting it in animals. Your heart might beat faster than ever after hearing that with this brain implant, you will be capable of healing all diseases and be able to work with more speed than a computer. Elon Musk always comes up with jaw-dropping ideas, and I'm sure that the invention of Neuralink will stun you. Gear yourself, because I'm about to unlock all the information and details about the Neuralink. Let's look at the goal and design of this brain implant in humans. Inside of Neuralink The goal of Neuralink is to solve spine and brain problems by imprinting a chip in human brains. The inside of Neuralink is outstanding as Elon Musk aims at producing a remarkable and ultra-modern future for the brain interface field. Neuralink has been working on the brain-computer interface since July 2016 and has shown outstanding progress in the field. The progress includes implantation in monkeys and pigs. Mind-blowing progress includes implanting a device in a monkey that helps him play a ping-pong game just by its thoughts. Neuralink has made it work by digital telepathy permitted by BCI technology. Elon, even after performing these mind-boggling experiments, wasn't satisfied and decided to implant these devices in human beings. Do you think Musk will be able to do it? The Scheme of Neuralink The massive scheme of Neuralink is to make BCI more effective. The strategy of the Neuralink resembles Tesla's. Do you want to know how? If you recall the Tesla car, you will remember that Tesla took old inventions and filled the spaces with more advanced tools to make it the safest car. Similarly, Neuralink caught previously existing technology just to reconstruct it using modern methods and, with this method, Elon Musk has never failed to offer successful inventions. The Function of the Brain Computer now I will disclose the purpose of this advanced technology called a brain-computer interface. The human brain is a piece of electric meat that controls the rest of our body by producing signals that travel to our muscles through nerves. These electric pulses are the programming language of the human body. The brain sends these electrical signals through the spinal cord, and the connection between the brain and the body makes us work properly. If the connection breaks due to physical injury or degenerative disease, the brain won't be able to command our muscles. Many of you might got a clue about the function of BCI. The brain-computer interface works as a bridge between the body and brain in the event of a broken connection. The BCI bypasses the broken connection and connects the brain to the body. The two theories of BCI you need to know. BCI is divided into two theories, non-invasive and invasive. The non-invasive. The non-invasive theory is pretty common. You might have seen a hat with an electric code sensor that reads all the electrical signals of the brain, but this doesn't function properly as the skull is the barrier between the hat and the brain. It's just like standing outside of the concert hall and being able to hear the bass but not the vocals. The invasive. To make the BCI more effective, the barrier of the skull will be removed by invading BCI inside the human brain. Do you think the idea of using BCI to insert a chip in the brain is ethical? Let's focus on the industry standard for BCI. What new is coming from BCI? The current industry advancement of BCI is the Utah Array. The Utah Array is a computer chip with several white spikes that come out of it. This might sound crazy, but these will go into the human brain by cutting down a chunk of the skull. What are your opinions on this insane idea? Call it advancement or craziness, but this is how far our technology has come. How a Utah Array Works The spikes of the Utah Array will cut your skull and will connect to the outer layer of your brain. A computer miniature device will be attached at the top of your head. It connects to one end and comes out of the other end. They will perform this process twice to make it effective, so you'll have two chunks of miniature computer devices on top of your head. 
Furthermore, the wires will come out of your head. The spikes of the computer chip will read the electrical signals of the brain cortex region fast and without trouble. The computer will translate these signals into computer code, which will help the person with a computer implant to control electronic devices with their brain. Amazingly, people with brain implants can control robot limbs as if they are their own and computers that type on the keyboard or move the mouse. Is there a con to a brain implant? As you know, everything has pros and cons. Similar brain implant has some cons as well. There are a lot of restrictions on this advancement that hamper its viability. Another problem is that this research is confined to medical research as people will look insane roaming in the country with wires coming out of their heads. People won't be able to control it and your body might not respond to foreign objects as the Utah array is just a bunch of nails on your skull. These issues make this invention nearly useless. Do you think the Neuralink can overcome these problems and generate a better future for the BCI field? Who's the first company to achieve brain implants in humans? The progress of BCI technology is being held up by startup companies like Synchron and Neuralink. Synchron is the first company to perform brain implants in humans. Are you wondering why Neuralink wasn't the first? The thing that benefited Synchron was that their test was done in Australia, and there is no strict rule in Australia about what one can put in the human brain. Taking advantage of this leniency, Synchron reached out to four patients who received their BCI implant. Following their trials in Australia, Synchron now has FCA approval to perform brain implants in the United States. The company is ready for its trials in the U.S. as patients have received their stent road implants and Synchron is part of one of the six people involved in a $10 million study funded by the National Institute of Health. Let's study the design of Synchron implants to discover why they could do human trials before Neuralink. The Implant Design of Synchron the tool that Synchron uses is called a stent road, named after a common medical device, the stent. The stent is a long and flexible tube that is easily inserted by doctors into blood vessels. The device stent is also used by doctors in the laboratory and for several procedures. For example, doctors use it to insert into the heart and hold open if you have a blocked artery. A stent road is a rod with a group of electrodes. The Synchron benefits from this procedure by invading the cathode in the jugular vein and running into the blood vessel present in the brain's motor cortex. After that, they pulled off the cathode tube so it would expand the void network of the stent road and join the walls of blood vessels. Meanwhile, the wire on the other side is connected to a little computer device implanted in the patient's chest cavity. The implant device will be paired with Bluetooth, which means it will be capable of connecting with computers and smartphones. The problem we encounter in this process is that electrode is not exactly in the cortex and its interface with neurons. This puts a limit on signals and they cannot match the bandwidth of the Utah array. Do you think the pros of a stent road implant dominate its cons and make it the perfect brain implant technology? Do you think the Neuralinks can do better brain implants than Synchron? Which brain implant is better? Neuralink is coming up with a strategy to resolve this issue. Neuralink has planned to connect the Utah Array with the stent road. With this plan, the Neuralink will be cutting off a chunk of your skull. The company has decided to use a robotic sewing machine to insert electrode wires into the outer layer of the brain cortex. This will allow electrodes to go directly into neurons and through this, we will have maximum bandwidth. The computer device Neuralink is going to use is so tiny and can easily sew up in the head. And once hair grows again, there would be no sign of the implant. Neuralink is ready to do human trials with its exceptional idea of robotic brain surgery. What are your opinions about this Neuralink advanced brain implant idea? Do you think it could be a successful brain implant? Share your thoughts in the comment box. I'm sure you guys are shocked by technological advancement, but let's just say it makes things better. It's goodbye for now, but I'll come back with more exciting videos. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any new updates.